Gemini, this is your week ahead astrology forecast by Astrology Motivation from Born Without Boundaries. In this video, we're going to review the major planetary aspects and transits of this week, the week of June 8th through the 14th of 2023, and how they impact your natal sun and what that means for your bottom line. So we're going to start out really broad with the big stuff and how it's going to impact everybody. And then we're going to whittle that down and focus it to what's going to affect all Geminis or what all Geminis should be aware of. And then we're going to break things down into decans or groups of 10 degrees. There are three decans in every 30 uh, in every zodiac sign because every zodiac sign is a total of 30 degrees. And by estimating or by seeing the angles that are made to your natal suns based on these 10 degree kind of leap leeway periods, leeway lay, lay, anyway yeah these 10 degrees differences we're going to be able to see what is impacting your natal sun and how it is different for each and every one of you now if you don't know exactly where your natal sun is located in the zodiac sign of gemini that's okay all you need to know to enjoy this video and get something from this information is when your birthday is so because i'm going to be correlating the different birth dates to about where these uh different uh degrees uh different different aspects land um the most accurate way is definitely to have your natal chart ready um it's easy it's free just search prenatal chart and uh a bunch of websites do it um you'll need your uh birth date birth time and birth location um and all of that's usually found on your birth certificate if that is if you are in the united states um and then you just plug that information in and it'll spit it out for free and you'll have your whole natal chart um it's always that's where you begin right when you start studying astrology you always start with your own natal chart to understand your connection to the cosmos so let's dive deep now into the big stuff so the big stuff this week begins with two transits both that are happening on the 11th of june one directly impacts you because it involves mercury which is your ruling dignitary mercury is going to be transiting into gemini your home sign it's going to be back home this is fun playful bright brilliant curious chatty friendly energy sometimes it's a bit gossipy but it's always fun and interesting wow while mercury transits into gemini it's going to be trying to pluto which means it is kind of discussing something that is extremely juicy it's about discovery and investigation when mercury and pluto hook up so there's a sense of harmonizing and healing energy by being able to get to the depths of it and maybe finally be able to talk about it because the other big transit this week that's also happening on june 11th is that pluto is going to be retrograding back into capricorn it has been hanging out at zero degrees aquarius for a couple of months and now it will retrograde finally back into capricorn for the rest of the summer into probably about october which is usually when it comes back out of retrograde so pluto in capricorn once again is very is different than pluto in aquarius because it's all about hey what's going on in the corporate world legal structures legal systems established systems the norm and the status quo it's wreaking chaos so there's a little bit of a slide back into that energy while pluto is trying to mercury but also let's get into the major aspects this week so there is that major aspect between mercury and pluto it's a trine between mercury and pluto but we also have an opposition venus is an opposition to pluto this week while she is square to jupiter so she is where mars was a week and a half ago so this is a sense of what is being put through the ringer now venus so what does that mean venus rules sensory pleasures sensual pleasures it rules um what you love what really excites you what what you're attracted to how you want to be paid attention to and it rules money value systems what you value so in opposition to pluto there could be major changes going down but especially with that 
um, square to Jupiter because that just means she's been overindulgent, over decadent. This could crash down some people, especially as it goes back into Capricorn. And definitely the information is coming out because Mercury is right there in a trying to disseminate it. This is the big stuff that is happening this week. A very encouraging aspect here is this trine between Mars and Chiron toward the end of the week. I think it forms around the 10th. This means healing. This means being able to reconstruct, especially the physical self, and take action from the place of having learned the hard way. So we're going to see how that pans out. Let's double down now and focus on Gemini specifically. What is Mercury doing? We've kind of already discussed it because Mercury is right in the hot spot this week. Mercury is moving between 26 degrees Taurus and 5 degrees Gemini. Um, it is going to be in Gemini officially by the 11th. Uh, it is trying to Pluto all week long, but by the 13th of this week, so by the end of this week, it is going to be sextile to Venus and square to Saturn. So there's definitely some financial opportunities or some communication about value systems or being attracted or some sort of even flirty communication that can come toward the end of this week. But there's also a square to Saturn, which means Papa won't approve. There's some sort of challenge here with rules, laws, regulations, or status quos that you're going to be batting heads with. This is really interesting dynamic. Let us see. Oh, and toward the end of the week with a semi-square to Chiron and a quincunx to the south node, it seems like have we learned our lessons the hard way or have we learned anything from them at all and who has learned and who has not learned um, or definitely being reminded of work we've still got to do. So let's move into Gemini specific shall we so we started with mercury what is happening in the sign of, of gemini well we have two planets by the uh, 11th you're going to have mercury your ruling dignitary it will move between zero and five degrees between the 11th and the 14th we also have the sun which is moving between 17 degrees and 23 degrees gemini so let's see how all of this stuff going on is impacting your natal sun if your natal sun sits between zero and nine degrees gemini you are in the first decan of gemini and you are gemini ones this correlates to May Geminis. If your birthday is on the Taurus cusp, if you're born between May 22nd and the 30th, or maybe even the 1st of June, you are first decan Geminis, or then in and around, estimate, right? If you're on the edge, either way, it can toggle a little bit because Gemini season doesn't end and begin the same date every year. So that's why the best way is to get where your natal sun is through a natal chart. But ultimately, it's about there, say the first, say, nine and a half, ten days of Gemini season. Um, your natal suns by the 11th and the cusps, if you're on the Taurus cusp pretty much all week, your natal suns will be conjunct to Mercury. This is bright energy. It's, it's friendly energy. It's fun energy, it's educated energy, it's curious energy, and it is a great time for your mind to be working really, really well. Clear mind, clear headedness, great time to write, great time to be creative with your speech. This is an excellent time for you to communicate. We also have a long term trying to Pluto. So, your natal suns have been trying to Pluto this whole time, but Mercury is now going to come and join the mix which is gonna sort of explode that energy. So this is beautiful, transformative energy and bright ideas or finally being getting communications or being able to communicate something, send it out into the world that will help with this harmonious change and this real dynamic. When Pluto is trying to your natal sun, there is a sense of authority about you and aggressiveness about you, assertiveness about you that inspires people instead of intimidates them. So this is a great time to communicate this week. Um, if you are at the cusp, the Gemini Taurus cusp, your natal suns have been sextile to Neptune. This means exceptional energy when it comes to creativity, being able to tap into source and, and generate something from your imagination 
excellent and exceptional time for healing, for faith work and spiritual work, but also to put forth your creative projects. Excellent time. You have a square to Saturn. Your natal suns have been in the square for a while, but with Mercury exacerbating it, stuff is going to move and, and, and words are going to be exchanged. This is where you butt heads because what is established, it's, it's not new, it's not innovative, and that's what you're doing. So there could be some challenges with regards to contracts, rules, laws, and regulations that has been ongoing, but Mercury will exacerbate it this week. And then we have this week a sextile to Venus. So this is an extremely romantic period for you. Opportunities will open up. Financial stuff can go through. And definitely, definitely, definitely be flirty. You will be extra attractive. You'll find people that are attracted to you that you find attractive. This is the time when you could really like hit air, Cupid's arrow exactly where you want it to go. Just an FYI. So that, hello, is for Gemini 1s. Gemini 2s. So if your natal sun falls between 10 and 19 degrees Gemini, you are Gemini 2s. The correlating birth dates or the estimates are between, say, June 2nd through the 10th. So about the first 10 days of, Gem of, of June would be Gemini 2s. So you guys have been for a while sextile to Chiron, which means you're finding opportunities that have stemmed from shitty stuff that you've gone through. So you're actually turning the bad into the good. Um, you also have uh, this week a sextile to Mars, all of you, which means high energy, real fluent, elegant, physical activities, taking charge physically, getting things done, feeling that vitality, getting into your body and out of your head, getting out of the way of that. Um, also, a lot of healing can be done because Mars and Chiron um, are also trying. So there is just this sense of really opportunities, maybe the first time you're getting out in a long time. There's just a sense of, real sense of moving forward here, moving forward after um, you've been through some shit. Um, if your birthdays are maybe around June 1st, 2nd, 3rd, you are already conjunct to Jupiter. You're already feeling your sun and your sun conjunct Jupiter because Jupiter is between five and six degrees Taurus right now. So, I mean, oh, oh, oh yeah, right. You're right. You're right. I'm so sorry. Um, it's not conjunction, but you're already, okay. I'm just going to erase that. I got to, right get that out so if your natal sons are um are or say your birthdays are june 9th or 10th or toward the end of uh, gemini 2 you all week long are going to be conjunct the current sun right if you are because the current sun is at 17 degrees uh starts at 17 degrees and goes to 23 degrees so it's actually moving or transiting between the decans this week but if you are around that um ninth birthday june 9th june 10th all this week the sun is going to be conjunct your natal sun and that means confidence and that means shining and that means having energy and really knowing your heart's purpose and going for, going after it without hesitating without a second thought and with that sextile to chiron and sextile to mars there is just beautiful opportunities opening up for you after a shit storm has happened to you so good on you is all i've got to say and then we have gemini threes so gemini Gemini threes. Your birthdays are the last, say, estimate 10 days of Gemini season. So between June 11th and the 21st of June would be about where your birthdays would fall. Definitely, if your natal suns are between 20 and 29 degrees Gemini, you are Gemini threes. Your natal suns, by the, by the 11th, the sun will conjunct your natal suns. So if your birthdays are the 11th, 12th, maybe 13th, you'll feel this conjunction all week long because it really is end of decan two, beginning of decan three. So say maybe the 8th through the 12th will really be feeling the conjunction to the sun this week, this sense of confidence, shining, and knowing your heart purpose and not doubting yourself. That is a 
big beautiful blessing you guys also the same thing you'll be also already sextile to Chiron as well so this is really finding your confidence and purpose and opportunities opening up because you've learned the hard way this is beautiful time for you guys now all of you have long-term aspects to Neptune and Pluto there's a square to Pluto I'm sorry a square to Neptune and a quincunx to Pluto this is actually kind of difficult energy long term um, frustration when it comes to changes frustration when it comes to endings um, having foggy brain being easily distracted the, the, the square to Neptune can be easily cared for and directed in the right direction by finding your creativity and finding a place to put it right right and just just getting that creativity it's just being about pure creativity so, uh, oh, start writing right start writing start writing start speaking out loud start making videos for you I don't whatever it is um, start painting start dancing start start um, composing music this is um, this is a way to channel that creative energy into um, just an, an active an active form um, just don't let it distract you it's it's going to be a challenge but it's honestly been around for a while this square to Neptune so foggy brain is something that you probably um, gotten used to by now uh, we also have that uh, quincunx to Pluto which can be really irritating frustrating or dynamic change that catches you by surprise or that you don't really have a say about over the next couple of years but I think for this week in general, this is a real breakthrough week of, of finding confidence and seeing that you have confidence because of the crap that you've been through and that opening doors for you. So Geminis, you let me know how this energy is impacting you guys. I would love to know. Please remember to subscribe to Astrology Motivation so that we can grow. And then come on over to Born Without Boundaries Tarot for your week ahead tarot card reading. I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.